Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today, ooh, I'm so excited. I'm doing my first sort of home decor type of video. And I'm just gonna be walking you through what my office is right now because in my new apartment, I do have my own room that is just for work and creativity and oh, I could not be more excited. So this is probably gonna be like a three-part series of me decorating my office. It's not perfect right now, I moved in two weeks ago um, and of course it takes money and time to decorate different rooms so this is what I have done so far and I'm gonna kind of talk about maybe my plan you guys can give me some advice or tips what you think might look good let's go into my office so here I am going through the threshold let me turn you around actually <laughs> So this candle is by a company called Homesick, and I had heard about them, I mean, it's been one or two years since I've been aware of them. I think I saw the, the ads on Facebook first, and what I really like is that they make candles that are scented, inspired by a city, uh, a country, or a state that you come from, and or that you're homesick for. And although I am from Illinois, I'm from the suburbs of Chicago, and I live here in Los Angeles, I went to college in Boston. I really feel like I'm meant to live there again. I do miss Boston and Massachusetts every single day. Really, I like could get emotional talking about it because especially in the fall time, it was the best time of year. We would come back to school, it would be fall, the leaves would be turning. The most beautiful fall I have ever seen is in New England, like hands down. And there would just be this chill in the air and everyone is switching from their iced Dunkin' Donuts to their hot Dunkin' Donuts and their coffee, I mean. And we had a Dunkin' right across the street from school, so we would go there early in the morning, late at night, it was open really late. It's kind of funny because this scent, this particular Massachusetts candle, is scented like um, apple cider donuts and Dunkin' Donuts coffee. So, and it's crazy, the more you burn it, like when I'll leave the room and I come back, it's just pure donuts and coffee. Like right now it just smells like a cozy candle, but when I come back in I'm like, it is, it smells like Dunkin' in here. I just had the most wonderful experience living in Massachusetts and I remember every fall I would go to Salem for Halloween with my best friend Kira and one year I dressed up as Wonder Woman and I had at the time really long black hair and people were taking pictures of me like people were asking me to pose with them as if I was like the official Wonder Woman of Salem it was crazy I was like really this costume is like from Party City so whenever fall comes around I get a little bit nostalgic because I do miss the chill I do miss I do miss you know walking in the park but walking in Boston Common with my friends with a hot drink and just kind of talking about our assignments or I used to go sit and um, write songs in Boston Common and in this amazing little cafe called um, The Thinking Cup which is right by Boston Common. They have one on Newbury Street too I think but I just hope I can live there one day. I would really love to I think raise a family there with Gio and um, my boyfriend Gio is from Cape Cod which is if you can see right where my thumb is that's where Cape Cod is and it's so cool that he's from Cape Cod because it's kind of like a vacation destination so that's kind of like someone being from I don't know when I was little when someone was like I'm from Naples Florida I was like oh my god you're from a vacation town it's kind of or like being from Hollywood California you're from just a place where people visit and he's actually from there and I don't know I'm just because I love Massachusetts it's totally my home away from home um, I am so proud to be dating a Massachusetts man and Gio will just come in my office and smell this candle because it smells so good it's just nice to remind yourself of, I don't know, some place you love and, and it gives me a little comfort knowing that other people are homesick. Obviously, they have a business that's running off of homesick people wanting candles that smell like their favorite place. So I'm obviously not alone. This is how obsessed I am with Massachusetts. This is another Massachusetts sign that my best friend Kira gave to me. So yeah, I am very excited to go back for the holidays. So let me continue this tour. Okay, so here's the door right next to in-unit laundry. Hello! Um, so, you walk in. We have got the Wi-Fi thingamabob, which I need to make look prettier, maybe move it in another corner or something. This is just a storage thing from Ikea. Um, I have some of my seasonal items or things that I don't really want in my wardrobe right now in here. 
um, that I'm just putting away. And I know it's better for them to be in cloth bags rather than plastic, which I usually put them in. So I'm very proud that I, <laughs> oh, this is hard to zip. Very proud that I bought these Ikea things. They weren't too expensive at all. And here's another one. I just need to fill it up. This mirror is from Ikea. Hello. I believe it's called the Ecarnas mirror. Um, yeah. This is a clothing rack I also bought from Ikea. This is Mochi. I bought him from Ikea. Just kidding. I rescued him. <laughs> but this is a cool clothing rack. I have wanted a clothing rack. Thank you, Mochi. I have wanted a clothing rack for a very long time because I follow a lot of capsule wardrobe, wardrobists on Instagram and uh, I just love it. So right now I'm hanging my bags on there. I have my Chanel quilted bag. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I love looking at it. My Poor La Victoire bag. I have this Vince bag. I have a Glossier bag because I did go to Glossier yesterday. Whatever. Sorry, not sorry. Another Vince bag. And my vintage Louis Vuitton Jeune Fille. And I have this Target bag, which I was using for audition. So it's kind of full of stuff. So I don't want to hang it up right now because... This being down here means I need to clean it out. And then I have the Chanel box that came with my Chanel bag. Hello! This is a bunch of stuff I want to donate. It's very random. Most of my stuff that's like good enough to sell, I'm selling on Poshmark. So uh, I'll make a whole video on that later if you're interested. But I'll also link my Poshmark shop below if you are interested in shopping my clothes. Because I'm going to be adding things over the next few weeks. This is an amazing print that I got from Society6, which is one of my favorite websites to get art um, because you're supporting artists and you know independent artists so it's just a bunch of beautiful naked ladies in pink so I'm not sure where I can where I should put that maybe like up here I'm not sure where I'm gonna put my art yet um, that is my filming camera for my sit down videos Canon Rebel T3i I have a bunch of my sunglasses here uh, my friend has my pair of key aviators, so that's why they're not in there. Um, this first drawer is underwear, socks, swimwear. Oh yeah, and I'm totally like forgetting to tell you, I'm keeping my clothes in here because it just stresses me out less to like, I don't want a lot of things in my bedroom where I sleep. I don't want my work stuff. I don't want a bunch of clothes and items, so it helps to have a room to put them, especially because I have a lot of clothes. Um, plus, I, I like this, that this is like my little dressing area. I think that's super, super cool. So this drawer is jeans, denim, pants, yeah. Sweaters and some belts over here. And uh, we have, let's see, workout clothes. Um, more wor uh, sports bras and more workout clothes, leotards and stuff, and loungewear pajamas. I don't have that many, so they're just over here in this corner. But this is also from Ikea. I really like this. And my desk is from Ikea, and so is my chair. <laughs> yeah, that mirror is like the little version of my big one. It's called the Ecornus as well. Yeah, I just kind of went in at Ikea because... It's just affordable and I feel like I'm not going to be moving from here for a while So if I take care of the furniture, it'll be okay. So yes on my desk. I have this mirror Hello, just in case I film beauty videos. It's gonna be nice to actually have a mirror here um, This is my computer charger. I Have my planner here, which is I just got it the other day. It's actually a happy planner um, I'm getting used to the layout, but I needed a planner because I was doing a bullet journal for a while, but actually it's sometimes I don't have time to do the whole monthly layout and all of that. So it's good to have something that's just pre-made. This is a stack of things I need to take care of. This is sheet music. I need to sort through, um, some books and journals. I need to figure out where they go. Some magazines I want to read, some coupons. Here's my coffee. Um, this lamp is from, oh, it's either Home Goods. I think it's Home Goods. I got it like when I first moved to LA. This little mouse is from Solvang, California. My mom got it for me um, before I even moved to LA and then she left it on the counter and she was like, Gabby, there's a, there's a mouse on the counter. And it was that mouse. So, because I love mice and rodents. This is a very cool phone charger I got from Ikea. You just put your phone down on the charger and it starts charging. It's so cool and so convenient for me being lazy who literally will not reach and charge my phone. Stapler <laughs> and pens. Then I have some prints up here that I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with. Let me just pull aside these lines for a second. So I got these at um, at a little shop at, what is it called? Um, Smorgasburg in downtown LA. 
like eight months ago. So we have a beautiful little snake. We have a print that says, I am in the mood to dissolve into the sky. And we have a beautiful kind of sky chart here. So what I think I want to do with these is just get a shelf because I see people hanging prints on shelves rather than framing each individual print. Just kind of having the prints together hanging on the shelf like this. Maybe this one I would, I would hang in a frame because it's a little bigger than the others. I don't know. We'll see. So that's what I'm working with for artwork. And here's a tiny little Miriam that one of the, um, one of the girls in Prince of Egypt made for me. She was a little girl named Lily Mae and she made me this beautiful Miriam figurine. And that's me as Miriam. I just, ugh, it's just so special. So she's there. By the way, can I just show you this gorgeous ring is by Brian Oro, which is an amazing solid gold jewelry company. They have very high quality jewelry. And this ring is actually two rings and it's called the Constellation Stack. And I reached out to them because I was like, my viewers are going to love that. It's literally something related to the sky and it like is a little dainty piece of jewelry that's very much like my style, but it reminds me of my love for you know, the constellations and astrology, and I just think it's very, so gorgeous. So um, if you're interested, that's the Ryan Oro um, constellation stack. Mine is in solid 14 karat gold. Um, they didn't pay me to say this. I just think it's absolutely so gorgeous. So in my desk, this is the Malm desk, by the way. I have a lot of my tech stuff. I have some business cards, um, my Beats headphones. It's just all of my stuff related to my computer and recording. And down here, this is where I keep all of my like my pay stubs and my receipts that I can write off of my taxes. These are all of my pay stubs. And my headshots are in here, extra headshots. Down here, I have binders and staples, all of my journals and printer paper. Over here is a very ugly corner. I have my printer, which I am thinking of just putting on this desk over here because it's just so ugly and all these cords, I just hate it. This is maybe my least favorite part of living here is that we don't actually have doors in our closets. We have these Ikea, I don't know. It's just, they just look, ugh, and they don't, mm, I don't like them. So maybe I'll just take them down, honestly, if I keep the inside clean. Um, microphone for recording voiceovers. I have, um... A sweater that I got a stain on I'm gonna put that patch on I have all of these shoes this is a bin full of my shoes I need to get a shoe rack I want to keep like maybe 10 shoes in here and then others in my hall closet so that they can be out of the way I, I just this is too much but I usually only wear like a favorite five or seven pairs of shoes during a season or two some of Gio's stuff back here his amp here I keep my um, audio related things like my microphone. This is what I use uh, when I do voiceovers. I have some Poshmark things um, like bags, tissue paper, thank you cards. Uh, a makeup bag. This is where my pole dancing stuff is because I do pole dancing classes once in a while. Some scarves, hats, uh, my little Chanel bag and dust bags. And then here are these clothes that I have been recently wearing. I can do a closet tour. I'm thinking of doing a capsule wardrobe. I have no idea because as an actor, you're always going to auditions that are, that require you to embody a different character. So it's hard to put away clothes. You might be like, oh, this is super springy or like summery. Well, first of all, it's hot in LA still, but I just auditioned for something where I was kind of going for a teacher and this was an appropriate dress. So I don't really want to put it away if I have to take it out. So we'll see. And then some neck scarves. Here's my desk that Gio painted for me. It's a beautiful, beautiful mid-century desk that he painted and just kind of redid. It's gorgeous. It was my Christmas gift, our first Christmas together. This is kind of messy right now. My piggy bank that I actually use, my Beats headphones, this lamp, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or not. Some shorts I'm trying to sell, earrings. It's just kind of junk. This is what I use to wash mochi. Like I just dumped the water on him. This is my friend's bra that she left at my house. <laughs> um, Adida case for my new glasses. If you're a fan of the glasses, they're by Adida. And then I just keep a lot of like cords and stuff in these drawers because I don't usually go in these drawers a lot. This is where I keep my tarot cards and my incense, um, crystal wand, all of that. Um, let's see, some cards, my Kindle, more thank you note things, um, a bookmark, 
measuring tape. This Chanel box is actually where I've decided to keep all of my um, photos because I take a lot of photos. Nowadays, people have um, photo booths at every event, and I like to keep those photos. This is my Berkeley ID. Oh, look at me, so young and ready to learn about theory. This is when I first got my medical marijuana card, um, and I bought an ID card because they kind of convinced me I needed one in case I ran, like, first of all, I was clearly not ready for Kareli, what? Okay, but that's not my last name. I was not ready for photos. This is just, I keep this because it's so hilarious and embarrassing because I look like a literal pothead. So, this is from closing night of the Tuacon season. I love these photos of Gio and me. I think we look so bomb. Um, like, come on, highlight. I wasn't even wearing any highlight. More photos with friends. This is a photo that Gio and I took our first week together. Yeah, so it's just a nice place to keep all of my photos together and not have them falling all over the place, which I usually do. And I'm keeping, I have a lot of glasses. I keep a lot of, a uh, few glasses in here. Same here, glasses and cords. <laughs> and never have I ever game. My piano bench, I haven't brought my little keyboard in here yet. It's not a little keyboard. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out a place to put it, but I haven't brought it in yet. And this is full of things that I need to have dry cleaned. Um, and yeah, that is it for my office. So this is what it looks like right now. Um, as far as planning goes, I feel like this is a good spot for the mirror and the rack. I wanna get a big area rug. I'll insert a picture of what I'm thinking. I, For some reason, I want blue in here. I feel like that soothes me when I work. Um, I feel like that color is very calming to me and I just feel like I need some more blue and green in my life So I kind of want like a distressed Aged looking blue and green blue and or green Persian rug or Moroccan style rug And then I just need to hang my art But I'm not sure I think I want to put maybe like a, a wall hanging like a macrame Sort of thing or maybe I'll put that there. I don't know. I feel like once I get my rug I will be able to coordinate with colors better, but I kind of want the rug to dictate how I decorate. I don't want it to be too busy in here because right now I feel so calm because it's so, <laughs> so clean and minimal. So yeah, that is it so far. I know it's not, you know, crazy beautifully decorated, but it's my first office. I'm working on it. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any ideas of what you think would look good or color schemes or if you like that rug that I picked out. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my first home decor video. And um, yes, if you wanna see more, if you do wanna keep seeing how I'm you know, decorating my office and, and the decoration updates, um, let me know and I'll continue to make them. And for the other rooms in the house too, I'm just kinda of focusing on this because I do work here every day. So uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here, thank you for giving me a job and giving me a reason to have this amazing office and to create videos for you in it. Um, thank you so much. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye guys.